Defensive end Doug Atkins was a hard-hitting hulk from the hills of Tennessee. He left a lasting impression on those who played against him. The guy was 6'8", 280 pounds of just all muscle. He could high jump seven feet. He could beat you any way he wanted to beat you. Number 81 was the most imposing man of his era. He had an arm that was like a leg. I mean, you know, his arm was about this big. Biggest arms I'd ever seen in my life. In 1955, Atkins came to Chicago after two seasons in Cleveland. He became an eight-time Pro Bowl performer and was the linchpin of a defense that led the Bears to two division titles and a world championship. Atkins' combination of size, speed, and strength inspired enough tall tales to make him the Paul Bunyan of pro football. But there was more than a grain of truth to the mythology about this mountain of a man. I recall vividly 1961 when we opened with the Bears on uh, Bloomington, Minnesota. We had a 220-pound left tackle named Grady Alderman. The first play of the game, he picked Alderman Picked him up off his feet and threw him right at our quarterback. Just threw him about 10 yards through the air. He was probably the strongest guy I've ever seen. And he could jump for a big man. He could jump over people. Blockers had problems handling Atkins. And so did Bears owner and head coach George Hallis. The hell-raising Atkins baited his quick-tempered boss whenever the mood struck him. We were breaking camp this particular night. We'd been out tooting it up a little bit. I thought I'd play Coach Hollis a little music, and I turned that music up just as loud as I could get it. Oh, he'd come out of there cussing, boy, oh, damn stupid hillbilly, this, that, and other. We had a big fight right in the hall there. I, th I think he'd swing at you. If you'd hit him, I think he'd swung back, because he, he was awful aggressive. And then had, I'd look down the hall and see everybody's heads be peeping out. <laughs> In 1967, the 37-year-old Atkins was traded to the expansion Saints. He was still as difficult to block as he had been in Chicago. When Atkins retired in 1969, he had played for 17 seasons and in 205 games, longer than any scrimmage line player up to that time. On his final play of his final game in the NFL, Atkins recorded a quarterback sack. Doug Atkins was inducted into the Hall of Fame in 1982. His colossal size and his incredible talent made him a larger-than-life figure in pro football history.